Let's take a look at the lesson. Find two numbers based on the sum and the difference. Here we have the difference of two numbers is three. Their sum is 21. What are the two numbers? So we know that their difference is three, so a number minus a number will be equal to three. And then a number plus that number will be equal to 21. So I like to start with my 21 and think what two numbers can I add together to make 21? I usually start about in the middle. I can't split 21 in half perfectly with whole numbers, but I could say 10 plus 11. Now I have 10 plus 11. Well, if I make that a subtraction equation, 11 minus 10, that would be equal to one. So that does not work. The sum adding 10 plus 11 works, but 11 minus 10 does not work. So I know that I need this number to be larger so that my difference is larger. So instead of 11, I could try 12. Now 12 minus a number will need to equal three. But if I change this to 12, now my addition problem will change. No longer will it be 10 plus 11, it will need to be 12 plus something to equal 21. Well, I could do 12 plus nine, that equals 21. Now let's see if that works for my subtraction, 12 minus nine. Ah, 12 minus nine does equal three. So the two numbers are 12 and nine because 12 minus nine is three and 12 plus nine is 21. All right, so 12 and nine. The difference of two numbers is zero and their sum is 34. What are the two numbers? Well, I know that in order for the difference of two numbers to be zero, those two numbers need to be exactly the same. So if I have a number minus a number is equal to zero, these two numbers need to be the same. Now, if I'm adding two numbers together to equal 34, they need to be the same as these up here. So let's just split 34 in half. So I know that half of 30 is 15 and half of four is two. So 15 and two is 17. Half of 34 is 17. So I could say 17 minus 17 is equal to zero. So 17 plus 17 is equal to 34. So this does work. 17 and 17 would be my two numbers because their difference is zero and their sum is 34. So it's 17 and 17. The sum of two numbers is four and their difference is zero. So we know if we add these two numbers together, the sum will be four. If we subtract them, the difference will be zero. So again, these two numbers have to be the same. What two numbers that are the same can we add together to get four? It's one of our doubles. Yeah, two, so two plus two is four. We could also say two minus two is zero. So what are the two numbers? Two and two, because two plus two is four and two minus two is zero. So it is two and two. The sum of two numbers is 34 and their difference is zero. What are the two numbers? So a number plus a number is equal to 34. That number minus that same number would be equal to zero. I know those numbers have to be the same because a number minus itself would be zero. And now we have a number plus a number will equal 34. Well, I know that we can take 34 and split it in half so we can divide it by two to make these numbers identical because they need to be identical because of the subtraction problem. Two will go into three one time, minus two. Three minus two is one. And then we drop down our four. Two will go into 14 seven times. Minus 14, we have no remainder. So 17, let's try that. 17 plus 17. Yeah, I know 10 plus 10 is 20 and seven plus seven is 14. So 20 and 14 is 34. And 17 minus 17 is zero. So it is 17 and 17. 
The difference of two numbers is six and their sum is eight. What are the two numbers? All right, so now we know a number plus a number will be eight. And then a number minus a number will be six. All right, well, I know that my first number in the subtraction problem needs to be larger than my second number. All right, it needs to be six larger. So let's look at our addition problem first. So if we have eight, if we did four plus four, that would equal eight, but four minus four would be zero. So I know that four plus four would not work. Let's change this one. Let's bring it up to five. Five, well, five plus four is not eight, five plus three is eight, so this one changed as well. So I know five plus three is eight, but five minus three would be two. So let's bring this one up again. Let's bring it up to six. Six plus two is eight, but six minus two is four. Hmm. Let's bring this up again. Seven, seven plus one is eight. Ah, and seven minus one is six. So if we have seven plus one, which is eight, seven minus one is six. Great, so our numbers are seven and one. It's right here. The sum of two numbers is 24. Their difference is zero. What are the two numbers? Well, I know I'm going to be adding two numbers together to make 24, but then when I subtract the two numbers, it's going to equal zero, so I know these two numbers have to be the same number. And the only way to get that is to divide this by two. So let's see, two will go into 24 how many times? Two will go into two one time. We bring down our four. So two will go into four two times with zero left over. So now we have 12. Ah, okay, so 12 plus 12 is 24 and 12 minus 12 is zero. So 12 and 12. The sum of two numbers is 18 and their difference is two. So a number plus a number is 18 and a number minus a number is equal to two. So let's try, let's see, nine plus nine is equal to 18, but nine minus nine is equal to zero. That would not work. Let's bring this one up by one. 10 plus eight would equal 18. 10 minus eight would equal two. Ah, this works. 10 plus eight equals 18, and 10 minus eight equals two. So our missing numbers are 10 and eight. There they are. The difference of two numbers is zero. Their sum is four. What are the two numbers? So a number plus a number is equal to four. A number minus a number is equal to zero. So I know that these two numbers need to be the same number. So again, I could divide four by two. Two, four, that's two. Okay, so two plus two is four, and two minus two is zero, so two and two. The sum of two numbers is 28. Their difference is 10. What are the two numbers? All right, let's see. If we have a number plus a number is equal to 28, and then we have a number minus a number is equal to 10. Okay, so, Let's try cutting this number in half. If we do 14 plus 14, we will get 28. If we do 14 minus 14, ah, we will get zero. Let's change this by one. Let's bring it up. So 15 plus 13 would equal 28, but 15 minus 13 would equal two. Let's bring it up again. 16 plus 12 is equal to 28, and 16 minus 12 is equal to four. Hey, I'm seeing a pattern. Every time we bring this number up by one, we need to bring this one down by one. So our difference changes by two every time. We started at zero, then two, four, ah, so then it would be six, eight, 10. We need the difference to be 10, 
So we know starting with 16 give us a difference of 4. Starting with 17 will give us a difference of 6. Starting with 18 will give us a difference of 8. And starting with 19 should give us a difference of 10. So let's see if that's true. 19 plus, what do we need to add to 19? 9, which is equal to 28. So then we would have 19 minus 9, which is equal to 10. So our missing numbers are 19 and 9. Great. Let's take a look at the next one. The difference of two numbers is 8. Their sum is 12. What are the two numbers? Well, let's write this out. So if we know the difference is 8, that will be a number minus a number is equal to 8. And the sum is 12, so a number plus a number will be 12. Well, I know looking at the sum, if I were to split that in half, it could be 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. But then 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So I remember this is going to go up 2 every time I bring this up 1. So if this is 7, this will be 2. If this is 8, this will be 4. If this is 9, this will be 6. And if this is 10, this will be 8. Let's try it. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So it is 10 and 2. Amazing work. 